What's up my friends? Uh, we're going to do a video today about my friend D's reef tank. If you remember his 400 gallon reef tank exploded. For most of us that would be the end of our reefing career. You know I think we would never uh, go as big as 400 again. Uh, it was just a total mess and if you haven't seen the video I'll send a link for you. But anyways enough talking let's get into it. Check out D's house, his new, uh, well it's not new, but the 300. What's up, boss? What's up, D? Not much. Hanging yeah. out. How you been? Each other. Check out your new tank. I remember all of this right here, all of this, no joke, flooded bathroom, flooded. Yeah. So it's brand new carpet. It's all soft and plushy. Oh man, this thing was heavy. Yeah, the couches, <laughs> they got professionally clean. They're good. Like, it didn't really touch them. Can we mute the uh, the video? Oh yeah, my bad. It looks, it looks good. It's, yeah, it's a lot more room than everything, the Everything, everything just, in the yeah. Tank. Oh man, it looks. But yeah. Oh shit. Here's the new tank. I see you got the gyri. I see you got all these. Fuck, man. You got new fish. The sh orange shoulder. Yeah, the orange shoulder is. I'm glad he's doing good. Scooped you up in a net. And I had your wife throw him upstairs, or we threw him somewhere. Yeah, when I came home, he was like super skittish. Oh, but okay. After a couple of days, he started eating again after the initial shock, and. Yeah. It's been doing well ever since. And is this one of the clowns or? That is one of the clowns. I'm glad he's doing good. I know you're, I was kind of catching, one of the dudes was like, how can we even rescue the clown? But I mean, you had bigger problems. I mean, I had. Uh, fucking 300 gallon tank looks legit. Really nice. I told you I was starting to get into SPS. That's the middle pour that I was looking for when I was like, hey, I need to find this middle pour. It's that piece right there. And since it's been in this tank, it's already grown. Mm -hmm. I mean, this tank's been up. What the hell is that underneath the middle pour? It looks, that's nice. What is uh, that? Frag from one of my buddies, he gave it to me and it was dying out, so I just threw it in there. Then I thought about you, got some Mystic. That was like a few days ago and it's starting to come out. Oh, is that what that is on the right here? Yeah, the other side is more colorful. Oh, okay. But I put this side that they didn't hit it with light. So it can be 360 around it because I know light is hitting that back side. But that front side, they didn't hit it with light. So it was like kind of lightish. Actually, I like I like the way that you set your new tank up. And this was the tank with the those huge ass fish that you had. And these lights are pretty legit, man. Yeah, those those lights are legit. Like, I don't care what anybody says. Like China, this and China that, but those are pretty nice. So I control this light from my phone. They send you this app, and you download the app, and you connect to it from Wi-Fi. And once I'm on the app. Then I can just control it. So you got some radions going on. These sunnies. So I connect to the light. Uh, I want to say channel, channel two or three. I always get a mix up which one is the 395 spectrum. So me, just for foreigner purposes, I'll turn them blues all the way down. So you can see. Actually, my camera's. I got a new camera and it's pretty. Oh, actually, that's pretty good. But this is pretty cool too. I like the daytime. Wow, man. I just think it's crazy because you just. You didn't learn your lesson, I guess. No. It <laughs> It was like when I lost that tank, I'm not gonna lie, I was like, man, I'm not gonna do this no more. Like, this has been just 
a heartache just to lose everything that I work hard for. And then, you know, I'm sitting down here and I'm cleaning up glass. It took me like three days to clean up all that glass. Luckily, I was on a four day weekend uh, that week. So I had the time to do it. And you, you had mentioned that uh, you were smashing it with the hammer? I took a baseball bat <laughs> to the other three panels of that tank. And it was like the most stress relieving ever. It was just, <laughs> hey, this baseball bat. Bow, smashed it and started throwing uh, glass in the trash can. <laughs> That's awesome. That's crazy. But yeah, let me. So I yeah, yeah, I that. like, I like. Oh man, you saved that big ass mushroom right here. Yeah, that mushroom. It came back with a vengeance. It's huge. It's starting to overshadow my zoas. Uh, yeah, I'm oh, okay. Sweet. So, so you did save a, a lot of stuff because these pallies right here, you hooked me up with some. Yeah. I was like, well, I'm just have to give you some of it back. You saved it. All right, so that turns that off. We turn on the reason why I love these. And so and uh, okay, that's another thing. So this is the controller right here to the. Um, these are D Sunnies. Yeah, that's the controller to that particular light. But you actually have these babies on Wi-Fi, right? Yeah, you can use the Wi-Fi, or you can use the actual controller box. I just put the box up there just in case I'm not near Wi-Fi and I'll be good. Yeah, I like it, man. Um, I like your 300. And then you hooked up an overflow. Yeah, okay. overflow is a pain in the ass. Is it? Is it really? To connect? Because I'm so used to everything just already being in. It. The only thing I want to do next is uh, I want to actually do a bigger refugium stuff. Right now, at 60 is not holding. But you're still using the same skimmer and. Yeah, I plumbed it uh, externally because it would not fit inside of that. It will fit, but I wouldn't have the the skimmer in it. Well, the refugium. Hey man, you still got the bubble coral. Trying to get this for you real quick. Yeah, you can leave it like that. Don't you see so? That's why I love those lights so much. That's what I see at night. And that's what I saw when I first saw your tank. Uh huh. Everything glued, and I was like, oh, oh my god, I'm just blown away. I just rocked. With the I'm, um, I'm blown away with the way that it glows. The phantoms, I mean, no, the photon, photon, the photons, yeah, reef breeders. But you're doing doing this with some the sunnies, and it's crazy because these the sunnies they're kind of not really big, and it's not all of them on pretty cool. They came with the hanging kit. They're cool to the touch. I'm like happy with them. I like these radions. I like the radions, but I can't afford them straight up. <laughs> There's a lady selling two for 800 here. Yeah, I can't afford that shit. <laughs> That's sweet, man. Is there a, can you, uh, do you think you could shut off the, the flow so we could do a top down? Oh, sure. And are you still using Apex or, or you got it? I am. So my Apex works just fine. Clean it out, everything. But uh, I, I went and picked up two RW15s in conjunction with this gyre because Paul had them uh -huh. and it shits both of them off just doing one. Yeah. And with this uh, gyre, I just stick it on this 10 minute. Oh, no, this is sweet. And there's no flow. Up down. Your GSP did just fine. There's a couple pieces in here that I ordered. And if you if you ask me the prices on some of this stuff, like hey, you're lying. Yeah. Because it was just 
I don't know. A lot of people saw that video and it was just like everywhere I went. It's like, hey, that's that guy that's at 400. So they hooked you up? Hooked me up. Awesome. That's good, man. Um, that's what I like about YouTube. I mean, you, you have some keyboard warriors out there who doesn't matter what, they're just going to hate. But you have a lot of good people that will, you know, try to help you out. And that's good that they did. Was it locally or? You, lo Both locally and online. That's good. Surprising. Man. I was like, wow. Because this was no joke. 400 gallons is a lot of. I'm glad you're, you're back up. But locally, I got that, that stunner. That's a big ass stunner, though. It was like browning out. When I first got it, it was browning out bad. You know what? I'm gonna bust out the gels. My camera's doing okay, but let's bust out some gel video. Yeah, because if you catch the, the light of this. Actually, I, I like this new tank. I still miss my 400. Of course. I mean, your 400 was thriving. But. This is. This is legit. Which is crazy because I wanted to bring out a point that you're in the military still and you're probably, I don't know how long you're going to stay at Fort Bliss, but you, you, you know, you, you're not just doing like a little nano, you're doing, your tank is 300. Like you, it's you, uh, this other guy, Eddie. He just came up on orders. He has a two something. Uh, Genesis 121. I don't know if you ever watched him. Mm -hmm. I think he moved. He was at Fort Benny. He actually he was at Fort Hood. Then he did like a video on how to move his uh, tank and he went to Fort Benny. And, and he had a big ass tank. And actually, him, he was just going to. Um, he wasn't touching any corals. Now, and then he did all these corals and then he had to sell them now. Shout out to all the military reefers. So I got these big uh, Monte Pores, and they were completely white when I got them. I only had them in there maybe a, three, four days. And you can already see the green coming back on them. You can see the polyps coming back out. I think they had them in a low calcium environment, uh -huh. and it just destroyed them. They bleached them out bad. But I give it another week or two. Maybe even month, and they'll be solid green. Awesome. Oh, I love it. I love the new tank. So drilled or overflow? Overflow. It's not drilled. Well, would you recommend to other people who are drill it or overflow? I would recommend drill. Personally, it's a lot simpler. With me, I had to dial in my overflow with my refugium. And every time you do a water change, if you shut off the return pump, are you going to, is it a pain in the ass or? No, it's auto siphon. So that aqua lifter up there just continuously sucks air out. It's a CPR 102 Deluxe. And I mean, I had this tank up before I had the 400. Yeah, you had so, it on that side of the wall, I remember, yeah. Well, I initially, before it was over there, it was right here. And it was my reef initially, then I got 400. And I transferred everything over to that one. Um, the dude with the that made that tank has he even reached out or anything? No, not at all. Yeah. Yeah, I probably wouldn't either. <laughs> no, actually, I would. I'd probably make it right. But some people they just they don't do what's right. And that's fine, you know. I mean, it was an unfortunate event, cost me a lot of hassle, but I hold no grudges. I mean, what's the point? At the end of the day, it happened. Can't take it back. For the first few days, I was like, this is just a dream, until I came downstairs. It was so real, it's surreal, yeah. I'm glad you're back up. A lot of people have been asking, like, oh man, it's terrible, and it, it is, it sucked. Well, look at you, freaking bounce back. I mean, people look at this tank and think it's been up 
like the guy that came in and replaced all the carpet, he was like, oh, how long have you been running your reef? And that was like four days. Really? Yeah. Was like, it's been up for four days. And he looked at me puzzled because he was talking reef because he had like a, a little cube or something like that. So he was talking reef. And he was like, oh, I can't keep it like this. It's been up for years. And when he asked me in four days, he just looked at me. He just had like this puzzled look on his face. Like, so I explained to him my regiment on how I did him, you know, such a short amount of time. And I mean, it's only getting better. I went through all my stages. All right, you're uh, close, Shouts man. out to ATM for Colony. Uh huh. Colony, phew, I probably dumped gallons of it in here. <laughs> I went like... through about 2,000 copods because I have three mandarins in here. You do have them, or? I have three green mandarins in here. And they are happy. Oh, that's good, man. I'm glad you're back. Your corals look happy. Yeah, the only thing I had to do was dip all my zoas. I had to take the zoas out and dip them. They weren't happy. I think something got to them while they were in holding. And these lights are pretty good. Uh, D from Brooklyn did a video on uh, the D sunnies. Do you like them? Yeah, he likes them. Uh, I was looking around. I 